Today on Bees React, we have another very dangerous episode. We are going to test how bees react to various chemicals that act as bee alarm pheromones. As you can see, we have mocked up three very realistic advanced test dummies that will be used to determine how strongly the bees react to each chemical. For those of you who believe in voodoo in the crowd, you may imagine that these dummies are an enemy of yours, such as a high school bully, or a beekeeper from Texas who thinks you're quote-unquote creepy and need to stop contacting her. The first chemical we're going to be using is N-butyl alcohol. As you can see here, it is technical grade, which is the preferred grade of N-butyl alcohol to be used when triggering bees. It is going to be on the far right. The second chemical that we're going to be trying is... Here we go. Can we get it in focus? Oh, we got to move it around. Where's, where's this focal point? Come on. Is it over here? Okay, come on. Not yet. Oh, got to try and find this. Move it all over here. I know it can get it. Here we go, okay. So, this is amyl acetate, which is technically not the correct chemical, but we're going to try it anyway because it's similar. Uh, it's going to go into the middle one here, and then finally, the last one that theoretically should have the strongest response, isyl amyl acetate. Uh, this one will get into focus, and this one is supposed to be the main alarm pheromone released from stings. In case things get a little bit too dangerous and I have to euthanize the hive for their own good, I have brought along a Bees React brand katana, uh, which I'll show you here in a second. We might have to use it to be merciful and safely euthanize these bees and put them out of their misery if they start getting into a frenzy that is uncontrolled and it is not safe for uh, people or animals who are around here, and we will use it if absolutely necessary. But hopefully it won't come to that, and we won't have to put these bees down with our infinite mercy. Uh, first, we are going to be putting in the N-butyl alcohol. I'm going to get the dropper ready, and we're going to put in a couple of drops here. Okay, just a few here. Not, not too much. And we'll give this a, a couple of seconds to set in and see what happens. Now, don't try this at home. It's extremely, extremely dangerous. The next one up, we're going to get the capsules of amyl acetate ready. I'm going to take a few of them, probably two or three, and we're going to snap them and then put them into the middle. Uh, got to pop the little internal capsule. There we go. And then put the second one in and the third one. Beautiful. We'll give them a couple of seconds here to react to that now that it's open. We got a couple who are who are climbing around it. They might be a little interested in it so far, maybe getting a little reaction. Last but not least, we're going to put in the last iso iso uh, amyl acetate. And we'll get that loaded up in the dropper and we will put a couple of drops very carefully. I need to be incredibly precise with this so i only want one or two drops maximum uh that's it not not too many so let's give them a few minutes and see how long it takes for them to start going crazy and react to these alarm pheromones or these these chemicals that are similar to the alarm pheromones i've got the katana here ready so if we have to jump in and do something we can do it at a moment's notice but let's watch and let some of this magic happen any second, there's going to be an explosion. Absolute madness here. You could feel the tension in the air. Never cry, marijuana, don't try it at all. It's a lie, it's like beating your head on a wall. Marijuana's a fast way to fall. 
So you may be questioning what is the deal with the rags that were put over our dummies. And uh, that was because some of the bees were actually sinking into the chemicals. Uh, and we didn't want any of them falling in and dying, so we covered them up with these rags to prevent any harm, but still let uh, the chemicals waft through to have the bees react to them. You can also see that these bees are not in any kind of frenzied or alarmed state and our test subjects remain uh, completely unharmed and I can even grab a handful of these bees and, and nothing really happens, minimal to no reaction from the bees. So that seems to be it. Another, another very impressive video from Bees React.